You it is get your it's your boy Todd back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be talking about how one a year ago today we saw some of our best content in NBA 2K ever and today a year later people are getting wrongfully banned and everybody is fed up with my team in general what a year or uh, what a difference a year does truly make and we're going to be talking about that in this video now before we dive any further into that if you are new to my channel and have not yet make sure you guys do smash that subscribe we're on the road towards 120,000 subscribers so one year ago today basically we saw my goal zero gravity robert covington uh now it's bigger than this robert covington who obviously was incredible for his specific value we were getting a free grindable card every single day in my team. Every single day. This year, we're getting playoff evos that aren't grindable every single day. We're seeing pay to win packs content. We're seeing super packs every single day. And people are getting wrongfully banned. Meanwhile, at the time I'm recording this video, I'm still banned. I'm still banned. I am still banned at the time I'm recording this video. They'll unban, unban everybody else but me for whatever reason. I've reached out to everybody I can, and for whatever reason, I am still banned. But literally, what a difference a year makes, man. We saw our first Invincible last year on, on the Friday of in a shack. We saw, obviously, the Supernova drop, and we saw a free grindable card in Rick Smith's and honestly, that following week is when we saw the Dark Matter free, I should say, once again, Richard Jefferson. Now, meanwhile, meanwhile, in Limited, you had an option pack. Now, again, we could, I guess, possibly see that option pack still to this day. But, I mean, we saw such great content, man. We saw the Zero Gravity Richard Jefferson for free. And this year, we have nothing 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 like this like obviously last season we had our glenn rice but why go away from that 2k 2k went away from that and not only that they went away from all grindable content there is nothing like there last year you saw these equal chance takeoff packs every tuesday i loved them absolutely loved them and on friday obviously we got our typical content drop but there was so much just better better not only content just more worth it in my team again equal chance tuesday packs you saw a free grindable card every single day this was one of the best times to play 2k in my recent memory right obviously we started with these emeralds and sapphires and they weren't anything special but as we got going you know you saw some great free cards for free that's not the case anymore and honestly last year they updated you know triple threat boards for weekends stuff like that and it was just something special in my team. We saw updates to the token market. It was just, it was something special in general. And in this, this season, people are getting wrongfully banned. There's no grinds. There's nothing to do. And that's my whole thing is, I've, I tweeted it out today. There needs to be, re you need to feel rewarded from just playing the game. And that's something you don't. Okay, people are like, oh my gosh, there's so many different ways to make MT. Correct, there is, but it's all on the auction house. There's no real way to make MT from playing Unlimited, from playing Clutch Time. There's no progress there. And I think that's where the big problem lies. And it's one thing if you have these two week things to grind. Like back in, back, you know, when, when E. Jinlian was a thing, when Ray Allen was a thing, we saw some things. Our last free card was from this crossover series. That's been it. These are the f most free cards we've seen all year long. It's just, it's been an absolute disaster. Now, I like the Bracket Busters takeover. That was fine. But we've, as a community, got to realize that that ended over a month ago. So for the last month, we haven't seen any sort of free content. That's, R that's not RNG. And that's sad. Right? The playoffs, the NBA playoffs set could have been, you know, free content. But it's not, right? We don't even get moments of the week anymore. We get absolutely nothing from a year ago when we were experienced Tuesday. Ran, like, Tuesday, it was 25%, basically. So, you know, if you opened a pack, 
equal chance you could pull the dark matter. That was incredible for its specific time. And 2K couldn't go back to that. People would open those packs. Instead, on Tuesdays, we're getting this. I just... I, I don't know what to say. I've, I've honestly, I, 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 I don't know what to say. We literally didn't know how good we had it. We did not know or understand how truly good we did have it. And it's it's just not me, man. It really is, isn't just me. Everybody else in the community is probably fed up as well. Like, I know I'm not the only one that's gotten banned wrongfully. And everybody in the community is probably fed up. We've probably came to the conclusion that we've had enough. And I don't know where we go from here. The only thing we can do is hope 2K takes it upon themselves to be better. Because even last year, like even with this Swish drop, this was way better than what we're getting now, right? We're, we're not getting anything now. You guys remember this exchange, Drew Holiday? Oh, how fun that would be to get, right? I mean, we got exchange rewards nearly weekly. It was just, it was, it was way better. It was way, way, way better. And, and I just, I, I, I feel like 2K is honestly giving up on us. And not only that, they're punishing us. I, I, let's go back to 2K21. Because uh, I just, I got to see what we saw about around this time in 2K21. Because obviously a year ago, things were going a lot better. In 2K21, at the end of May, here's what you guys were seeing, okay? Obviously on Fridays, you would see these in uh, specific modes but this was just uh for for the you know for obviously the friday drop whatever but we were getting moments cards okay moments cards and an agenda opal tony kukoc y'all remember him huh crazy crazy tony kukoc for free y'all remember that what a time it was in my team what a time it was in my team we didn't know how good we had it. We really did not know or understand how good we had it. Got Warp Reality, but meanwhile in Warp Reality, Glitch Bobby Jones, you remember this card? Could grind for him and get him? We really didn't know how good we had it when we had it, you know? And, whether you, and I can go back and look, Triple Threat Reward Ron Harper. Oh, that was nice, right? That was nice, that was nice. That was nice, Emmanuel Quickly, remember him? You grind enough unlimited or whatever he was, you could get him. Do you guys remember that? We had we had it back then. We really had it made. You get Bradley Beal, Obi Top, and Paul Millsap. I think if you won unlimited games, you got him. Nothing now. Absolutely nothing. People are like, oh, Ty, the problem is RNG rewards. That's not the problem. The problem is this. that's all we have. There's RNG rewards are fine, but there needs to be these type of events, these types of things in my team. And we can go and look at Season 7 and look what we got, man. Because we got different things in Season 7 as well. It wasn't just a, you know, one season type of thing. No, we got different things. We got this triple threat spotlight sim for Invincible Bill Russell back then too. It's not like it was just a once in a while thing. Consistently... In past 2Ks, we saw way, 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 way better reward system than we are seeing right now. And I don't honestly see it getting better. I don't. Because if I go back to, again, last year even, I'm not even talking about just last year. I'm talking about previous 2Ks. We saw so much more than we're seeing right now. And how does 2K improve? How did they get better? Beats me. They're incorrectly banning people. And there's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing. What, what, what would you like me to do, guys? What would you like me to do? I've tried my best to make videos talking horribly about Superbex. I've tried my best to not buy MT and start the grind for collector level. I've tried my best to do everything in my possibility to enjoy playing this game right now. But at some point, 2K needs to take this in their own hands. Incorrectly banning your community is not getting the job done. Giving us this, this dog water content isn't getting the job done. Eventually, 2K needs to look in the mirror and say, how do we improve this for the person playing on the other side of this game? How do we improve it so they can enjoy just getting rewarded by playing the game? Maybe it's as simple as this. This weekend, and I'm, again, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna list some really simple options. Maybe it's this simple. Put this card in the vault this weekend, okay? And, and again, you don't have to make it very common. Make it a point, 
you know, a small percentage chance to pull it. Maybe it's as simple as this. You give us, um, you give us a, a, a new card. So let's go back to 2K22, see who we got around this time. Maybe it's as simple as this, right? Putting a Dark Matter Joe Johnson in my team this Friday and saying, if you win 25 triple threat offline games, you get him for free. Maybe it's as simple as putting, you know, a, a, a Dark Matter. I know we've already got Dark Nate Thurman. So maybe it's as simple as putting a, uh, a Dark Matter uh, Bobby Jones in Unlimited. In there. Not in Unlimited, but in the agenda saying if you win five Unlimited games, you get Bobby Jones. Maybe it's as simple as saying, you know, if you, uh, if you play a certain amount of games, you can get a Dark Matter Kelly Oubre Jr. after you win 15 Clutch Time Online games. Maybe it's as simple as that. But no, you know what? Instead of giving us free content, instead of giving us free agendas, instead of making the game fun to play, let's ban our whole community. I don't know, man. Oh, a year ago today, my team was in a much better place, view-wise, community-wise, just 2K-wise. I don't know what to say now. I'm losing hope day by day. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.